Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the number one thing that a lot of people seem to forget when moving or traveling to Mexico. Uh, now, this is not for everybody. I think a lot of people out there do have this one thing and they always travel with it. They always have it, no matter where they are. But there's a lot of people out there that, for whatever reason, are lacking this one particular thing which is literally the most important thing that you could have use in your repertoire um, when moving to Mexico or moving anywhere or basically just any thing in life and what is that thing it's common sense that's right common sense ain't so common I remember a long time ago I learned that from a, a very wise woman anytime someone would demonstrate their lack of common sense she would always say Common sense ain't so common. And uh, that is the truth. That is the reality of it. In fact, that's why I got to make a whole episode dedicated to common sense and why you need to have common sense when moving out to Mexico. Now, I know a lot of you guys have common sense and use it on a regular basis. But still, from time to time, we have a little lapse, you know, in, uh, in memory or what have you, and uh, we forget about common sense you know it is what it is um it happens to all of us we ain't perfect but if you are a habitual user of common sense man you are gonna love mexico in fact i think that the biggest detraction to a lot of people that moved to mexico or come to mexico when they get here is the fact that they don't demonstrate nor display or use their common sense and uh, because of that they have a lot of trouble and difficulty and all of a sudden they hate it out here and so or you know they get detracted or you know misinformed or what have you okay about you know what it is to move to mexico live in mexico be in mexico life in mexico in fact, let's just get right into it. Um, for whatever reason, it seems like almost every other YouTuber out there, I don't want to be pointing fingers because it seems like I'll be pointing at just about everybody out there. For whatever reason, a lot of YouTubers, you know, that talk about Mexico and have had channels talking about how awesome Mexico is forever, um, all of a sudden in recent months, year, whatever, um, they have all of a sudden, you know, turned into fear mongering and, and all of a sudden keep telling you things like Mexico is harder to get into. Mexico doesn't like gringos. You know, Mexico is, you know, getting dangerous. Mexico is blah, blah, talking point, talking point, you know, propaganda, yada, 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 yada. And you're thinking to yourself again, if you demonstrate some common sense, you'll be like, well, wait a minute. You know, why is it that these people have full channels on how awesome and amazing Mexico is? And then it seems like almost overnight, they're now making content on how it's not awesome or amazing, even though they continuously show their amazing and awesome life, but not for you, not for you. You know what I mean? Or if you do want to come out here, it is way more difficult and, and, and you know, just almost impossible, you know, um, um, all of a sudden um, and things like that. And uh you know, my channel is actually getting a lot of growth and views because I am still, I think I'm one of the only ones out there still telling you what the reality of Mexico is, you know, meaning that it is safe out here. There are no deportations. There is no crisis of any kind. Um, in fact, you know, I keep telling you guys that it keeps getting better and better and better out here while the rest of the world is falling into shambles. And so, you know, the reality is, is all about demonstrating common sense. You know, if you're looking at your surroundings, wherever you're at at the moment, and uh, you see that things are not going so well, and all of a sudden, you know, you're just hearing, you know, YouTubers out there saying, hey, you can't get into Mexico anymore because they're requiring a financial requirement and they're requiring this and they're, or whatever it is um, that is detracting you from moving out here or coming out here. Um, basically, that is really just your inner self all right, talking yourself out of it, okay? But if you display and demonstrate common sense, you know, at the end of the day, you would come out here no matter what, okay? You will come out here basically like everyone else, which is a tourist visa, and then you figure it out, okay? Or if you can't even get a tourist visa for whatever reason, you still come out here and figure it out, like so many immigrants do. Again, I don't wanna get into that whole conversation, but we all know. In fact, if you don't know, Google it, 
you know, do a little research real quick, but there is a big immigration crisis happening right now in Central America, in Mexico, and in the United States, okay? So if there is such a huge immigration crisis, you know, why is it that all of a sudden, you know, the only ones being singled out are you, bruh. <laughs> you know, the people that are coming out here with money, with uh, the means to legally, you know, get all of your papers, you know, the want and the desire to literally come to Mexico and make Mexico better um, by just being here. And I can go on and on, you know, like stimulating the economy, um, you know, helping the, the country grow by bringing expertise from other countries. Again, uh, for a lot of you guys, you know, you guys are fully aware that the United, United States of America was great is great because of all the immigrants and the cultural melting pot that, that it is well mexico is that and turning into that even more so every every day as more of you guys are coming out here from all over the world and so again they're making it easier and easier and easier for you to get your immigration status okay and it's not even that but Again, it's not that difficult. Even me, you know, when I got out here and uh, everything was at the most difficult, all right? But anyways, I don't want to talk too much about immigration. This whole episode is about common sense. And we're going to be talking about, you know, other things, you know what I mean? Like, not just the simple immigration situation, you know, where if you are too scared, okay, to even come out here just because of, uh, you know, again, the financial requirement situation, um, don't come. Just stay where you're at. You're good. You know what I mean? Because you, you won't be able to handle anything else. Um, because I have made countless videos, okay, and the information is out there on the internet as well about how easy it is to actually you know, uh, get your residency out here without meeting any financial requirements or anything at all. You know, basically, you just live here and you show up to work. You know, <laughs> you know, you show up to Mexico. You're you're here in Mexico, and that's it. You know, what I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. But I digress. All right. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, which kind of like you know, bounces off of this, is the fact that. Uh, you know, again, a lot of you guys, you know, need to drop some of your major expectations. There's so many people that are coming to Mexico with these humongous expectations as to what it really, as to what it is out here. Um, you guys watch other YouTubers and watch, you know, how amazing Mexico really is. And it is. And again, you know, Mexico is a first world country, you know, uh, um, for that, that, for any definition, you know, uh, where first world country would be registered mexico is a first world country and because of that it has all the first world comforts but guess what all those first world comforts are expensive they're expensive where you live they're going to be expensive here same thing so you know a lot of people need to drop some of these expectations thinking that if they move to mexico well everything is going to be a third of the price it's not it's not now Again, for a lot of people out there that are just looking for freedom, they're looking for a roof over their head, they're looking for, you know, uh, better quality of food, better quality of life, and I can go on and on, you know, you, you guys already figured out um, that Mexico is an awesome place to be because, again, rent is cheap and compared to where you're at. Um, food is also less expensive. Um, all of your basic necessities that you need for life, I've made countless videos on it and I will be doing a 2023 version up coming up soon but long story short um you know there's a lot of people out there that um you know all, all they need is their basic necessities covered and i've made countless videos on this as to where i've talked about what again rent uh, internet light bill water bill cell phone food what all of these things actually are going to cost you okay on the most basic level all right and what you really need to live out here and then you add on everything else. And that's the thing. You know, most people think that, oh, everything is just going to be $1,000 a month. No, 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 no. If you want to have a nice, fancy, you know, $1,000 couch, it's going to cost you $1,000. It's not going to cost you 33 bucks. okay? It's just not. And I can go on and on. No matter what it is you need or want, you can get it out here, but most likely it's going to be the same price and sometimes even more expensive. You know, like for example, you know, um, this is the old GoPro, you know, we're upgrading. You're, well, by the way, the footage here, okay, you're watching is, is shot on this old GoPro. Look, it's, it's not even waterproof anymore. I've broken it so much. Okay, and I got the new GoPro here. We're charging it, all right? Look at this. Nice. Just got this, all right? And, uh, you know, this is a little harder to get out here 
um, and more expensive to get out here um, because it's an electronic, okay? So I had a friend of mine, you know, buy it for me and bring it to me as a gift. And so therefore, you know, I avoided, you know, a lot of fees and taxes, all right? Um, and so, you know, some things, you know, again, I could, I could have gotten it here, you know what I mean? But I would have been paying a lot more. Um, but for certain things, you know, let's say I need to get a chef jacket for my cooking channel, all right? Um, well, obviously it's gonna be a lot cheaper to get it here than it is to, you know, get it anywhere else so it all really depends on you know what you consider necessary for everyday life or not again you know for a lot of people all you really need is a roof you know again your basic necessities meant you know light food you know light food water etc etc um and that's it everything else is extra but there's a lot of people out there that need those extra extras for their life all right and and i get that and so when they come to mexico they want to live this very high luxurious life something similar to what they lived in the u.s or better or you know wherever you're from and then when they get here they realize oh wait a minute what did i come here for is just as expensive as canada or just as expensive as the u.s or more expensive in some cases you know than my life back home and it's because well yeah because you want to live a certain high-end luxury life and again there's nothing wrong with that but if if that's the case you know might as well just stay home you have a lot easier time making dollars canadian loonies or what euros or whatever it is out there um in your home country and spending it there than than doing you know like living abroad okay and having to come up with that same amount of money abroad now some of you guys can do it some of you guys can't there's a lot of people moving to mexico city moving to the north of this city moving you know to to many many parts of mexico that have you know a lot of gentrification a lot of high-end living and life and and amenities going on and you guys can afford it and mexico is welcoming you guys with open arms no problem um but for a lot of you guys out there that are probably living in your car, living in a, in a box, you know what I mean? Whether it's on the side of the road or inside of somebody else's house, um, you know, you're, you're living paycheck to paycheck. Um, you're about to get evicted, kicked out, whatever, you know, for, for many reasons, you know, a lot of them, they have nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? They just have to do with all the other things going on around you at the moment. Um, and you see yourself in a, you know, a dire situation and you see things only getting worse and you think, to yourself man there has to be something better out there and then you start looking hey maybe i can move to mexico and you're probably watching this video well well you know you'll be fine you'll be fine because you'll come out here all right and you'll quickly realize oh wait a minute you know look how cheap it is to get a, a box out here so wait a minute i can actually afford an apartment i can afford a townhouse now, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be the nicest thing. It's not going to be, you know, a home and gardens, you know, a cover uh, or anything like that. It's not going to be Martha Stewart living, uh, you know, um, you know, house of the year or anything like that. But, man, it's, it's yours. It's a place where you can call home. It's a place where you can, uh, you know, um, afford to live in, okay, and afford to, to live your life, whatever that life is. And uh, it's a new beginning, it's a new start, it's a new everything and a second chance, a third chance, whatever, for whoever that is out there. And you really, really get to, you know, lift up here as opposed to wherever you're at right now where, you know, again, whether it's because of economic reasons or government reasons or, you know, persecution or whatever it is, whatever reason, you know, you're leaving your country, um, you know, you'll find that when you move out here, you'll be able to, you know, again, have all of these things that you just never had back home and again the more you practice common sense the easier it is you know to acquire these things so again it's it's as simple as uh you know if you're gonna hire a handyman you're gonna hire somebody to work for you again if, if you are on top of them you know what i mean if you are willing to do the work yourself um and i could go on and on um then you know it's less likely for you to get the gringo price it's less likely you know that you know they're gonna do a, a a crappy job and so on and so forth but if you hire somebody you blindly pay whatever they ask you blindly allow them to do the work without even second guessing or checking up on it and i could go on and on um well then i mean of course you know what i mean these are the people that that come out here and they're, oh they're scamming me they're you know they're giving me the gringo price oh they're racist towards me or whatever it is and it's like no it's none of that 
It's just like anywhere else in the world. You know? It's just like any with any any other employee, anything else. You know what I mean? Um, they're going to be good ones and they're going to be bad ones. And it's up to you. All right. Then I just use common sense and logic. But for you to be able to know what's going on so that you are not scammed or taken advantage of. And by the way, these things can happen. They happen to, to anyone, any everywhere. I mean, honestly, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, what, you know, what are they, what, what's the famous saying? Uh, um, Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Shame on you. Right? Bruh. No, wait. <laughs> Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. And that's basically kind of like where it's at. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can fool me once. You fool me more than once. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the fool. I'm the idiot. I, I, I understand. And again, it, it's really all about you. You know what I mean? Whether or not you already practice common sense and how much of that common sense you practice and whether or not you're going to practice that common sense and logic out here. And it's as simple as that. Um, because look, and I, I get that there's some things that are, you know, just going to be different, you know, cultural differences. Uh, just so many differences that a lot of times, you know, whether you're not trusting of anyone anymore or very trusting of everyone, either or, you know what I mean? That's not gonna bode too well because you come out here and you might be very trusting of everyone. In fact, too trusting, and then that's a, where they take advantage of, or you're not trusting at all, all right? You're very untrusting, you know, where I, I kind of fall into that category a little bit. And, uh, you know, you come across very valuable people and it takes one two three four times five times you know of them giving you valuable work all right and being very valuable assets that you realize oh wait a minute okay let me trust this person some more and not be so hard on them okay Look, case in point with my mechanic you know i don't i never trust mechanics i don't trust mechanics i still don't trust my mechanic but i i, I trust him a lot more every time that he comes and saves my butt all right and he charges me regular price because or whatever price he's charging and look trust me I, I i i have other mexican friends and i know what a mechanic can charge out here and i feel like he charges me fair price always saves my butt and it got to the point where it's like all right bro just trust him already enough you know what i mean like stop thinking that he's here to take advantage of you or yada 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 like everyone else would do or a lot of people would do back home in the u.s all right or what have you so it's just many things like that, you know, the common sense can go both ways. It's not about just being too nice and too trusting. It can also go where you're not too nice or you're not trusting enough, you know, where there's a lot. Again, I'm, I'm talking to a lot of you guys out there. All right. You guys know who, exactly who you are. Um, and, and that's the thing, you know, like that's where you got to have that common sense kick in. You know, again, the common sense already told me, all right, bro, this is a good mechanic, you know, and things like that. Or again, if someone does, you know, a bad job or what have you, a lot of times that really, you know, I, that's it. You know, like I said, fool me once, that's it. And so whether or not they did it on purpose, um, that is enough for me to not ever, you know, uh, uh, go that route again. The common sense would say, hey, if they can't do a simple job right the first time, they're not going to be able to do any job right at any time let alone a bigger job again but i don't know you know maybe again so i know some people just are able to express and use common sense and logic a little easier than others all right but i again it just i feel that the more okay the more you practice this the easier it's going to be for you out here now, so for example another thing that i kind of put here is learn spanish now i never talk about this because i already knew spanish i already learned spanish when i was a kid in fact, that was my first language, and then I learned English and then all that. So for me, that was a non-issue when I moved out here. But guess what? You know, it's a big issue for 95% of you guys watching right now. And a lot of your troubles could be avoided by simply learning Spanish, okay? And a lot of you guys that come out here and just refuse to learn Spanish, there's nothing wrong with that. Again, we've talked about that many times in many episodes um, before but again you cannot be surprised when you get taken advantage of by whoever in fact you know speaking of which because i don't need to spend too much time on the obvious you know of learning spanish but you know there's a lot of people out there that get scammed and taken advantage of very very consistently when they move to mexico and a lot of times I feel, I think to myself, man, okay, these are people that would get taken advantage of no matter where they are. And then other people that I, I think, man, they're just, the only reason they're getting taken advantage of is because they're not practicing simple common sense. So when it comes to like the scams, more likely than not, if you're going to get scammed, 
It's going to be someone that speaks your language. It's, it's, it's almost impossible to get scammed, okay, by somebody that can, cannot even communicate with you, all right? Think about that, all right? So a lot of times when people do get scammed out here are by the nicest looking Mexicans. What do I mean by that? You know, the ones that are the nicest dressed, that speak the best English and are trying to sell you the universe, the world, all these things, you know, trying to, you know, solve everything and anything under the sun and not, uh, you know, not having much proof, you know, just, you know, their words and their charisma is enough to fool you. And um, the same thing goes with, you know, other expats. You know, there's a lot of expats out there, literally a lot of expats out there, okay, that their job in Mexico is to take advantage of you. You know, uh, literally scam you. All right. There's tons of them out there. Okay. Some of them are easy to spot and easy to to navigate around, but others not so much. And uh, the reality is, is that when a lot of you guys come out here, unfortunately, you know, you are in a difficult position as to where you don't really know who to trust and you need to trust a few people out there to get a few things done. And when you trust the wrong person, that's when things go the wrong way. And again, this usually always happens with expats because w when you're dealing with other expats, why? Because again, you come from France, from Canada, from the USA, from Germany, whatever, and you come across another German, another, you, uh, you know, another person from the USA, from where you're from, okay? And now all of a sudden it's like they make you feel comfortable, they make you feel, you know, um, at ease and they all of a sudden you know use that to their advantage to take advantage of you okay take a lot of advantage of you because again they know that you don't know the laws don't know the language don't know what's going on don't know anything because you haven't educated yourself and because of that they get to take advantage and this is why i do all the things that i do on my channel which is which is educate you okay so that no matter what your situation is you know how to defend yourself how to fight back how to use things like common sense and so on and so forth in order to make sure you don't get taken advantage of you don't get fooled and so on and so forth in fact i try to empower you to do it yourself and, and for whatever reason, you cannot do it yourself because I, I understand there's a lot of things that you cannot do yourself. I provide a whole list of trusted individuals on my website. Okay. In fact, let's just use this real quick to, you know, segue to that. But, you know, you can go to my website and you can find Jose Novello, the immigration slash real estate slash badass lawyer okay and he he's done many videos on the channel and is going to continue to do more videos on the channel where he's constantly a answering all your questions about real estate immigration um it's anything and everything law related okay and on top of that he's helping a lot of you guys you know get your visas okay without any problem without meeting financial requirements okay and so on and legally all legal okay and and so on and so forth helping you guys buy homes and so on and so forth if you need an assistant Sometimes all you need is an assistant. You can hire Stephanie. She's on the website, okay? If you, you need new glasses, if you need a dentist, if you need to know how to look for homes, look for rentals yourself, okay? Again, you can go with Stephanie. She can help you get the Mexican prize. She can help you, you know, get all that stuff. Or you can simply, you know, do it yourself if you speak the language, okay? Or you feel like you're, you know, capable enough of doing these things. In fact, that's why I try to show you and encourage you guys so that, Again, if you know Spanish, well, you can do all the immigration stuff yourself. You can rent the house yourself. You can do a lot of these things yourself. But if you don't know the language, well, you need a trusted individual who's going to help you. But not someone that's going to be like, oh, I know a person or, or something like that. No, no. These people that are there. So, for example, like Stephanie, she, she's your assistant. So, you look for the homes and then she gets you in the home. Okay? Now, if you want her to look for home, she can also do that. But you follow what I'm saying. It's, it's more about like, you know, there's no... Uh, it's all on you, okay? Meaning that you're looking for the place, you're finding it, you're happy with it, you know, you're you're the one that's doing everything. And what I try to provide, okay, not just with these videos, but with the group of people that I have is to basically, again, just help you, you know, cross that bridge. That's it, you know, very simply, you know, just get you from point A to point B, okay? Whether you want to use them or not, it doesn't matter. It's just for your, you know, to facilitate whatever it is you want to do and um yes of course it's going to come at a cost you know but again it's up to you you know whether you want to do it or not or or, or whatever 
And with that being said, if you find any of this information helpful or valuable and you want to be able to help me continue to help you and help others out there, um, you already know what to do. You can simply click down below and you can leave, you know, one dollar, five dollars. I got tons of links. You can use PayPal, Cash App, Bitcoin, um, whatever you want. All right down below if you cannot afford to send anything and that's totally fine too you can leave a like subscribe share the video okay please you know watch another video you know watch the commercials whatever you know there's a lot of ways that you can help contribute to help okay because your con contribution is helping everyone else out there there's watching these videos now and in the future so shout out to you and by the way shout out to all the patrons shout out to all the members shout out to everyone out there you guys are the bomb and so is everybody else, all right, that uh, helps with the show. So now moving on to another very important topic, you know, when it comes to common sense, uh, make sure you have income. Make sure you have some money, an income stream. You know, one thing is coming out here with some money, and again, depends on who you are. If you got a lot of money, whatever, this is a, a non point a non-issue here but a lot of people most people regular people you know hey you gotta you're still young enough you know uh where you know you're working a job you need some sort of income you need to pay your bills even when you're in mexico it might be lower bills but you still gotta pay them you need to come up with income money for that so unless you're getting a government check all right in which case you know you're gonna make sure that you whatever government check you're getting you can get it in mexico i think the only government check you can get are military and uh retirement pension type stuff all the other stuff like disability and yada 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 i don't know if you can get it out here in fact I'm, I'm pretty sure you cannot but again that's your research you got to use your common sense you got to figure that out but outside of that again if you do not have an income stream then how are you going to live in mexico how are you going to pay your bills a lot of people are under the impression that they're going to come to mexico and just get a job here look unless you come from a country that has a lower wage then Mexico, all right, you're not going to do well here, all right, simple as that. So if you come from a underdeveloped country and you come to Mexico, oh yeah, you're going to do great with a McDonald's job, with a job at the 7-Eleven, with a regular, you know, bottom rung, minimum wage type job, okay? But other than that, everyone else out there um, you're not going to find work out here. Now, you can work out here. You can do many things out here. You can work online. You, you can start your own business online. You can start your own business uh, here in Mexico. There's a lot of little things you can do to make income. But before you do any of that, make sure you have some income. So I don't know how you're going to do that, whether you have a you know weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly paycheck coming into your bank account um, to ba be able to pay your bills. Um, don't come out here. Don't come out here without money. Don't come out here without income. You're not going to be able to make money here, all right? Like, I mean, you will be able to make money eventually, depending on who you are, but for the most part, do not count on getting a job here. I made full videos on that, and so many people constantly talk to me about that, and it's like, look, I get it. It's a very, very important topic. But long story short, it's like this. You got to be realistic with that situation as well, you know, where, you know, you need to have money to pay for your bills. And how are you going to get that money? And a lot of people just automatically think, oh, I'll be able to get a job out here. You're not. I'll be able to start a business out here. Not right away. And, and I can go on and on. Okay. So, if you get yourself an online secretary job, if you get yourself an online, you know, gig, if, if there's many, many, many things you can do. Look, a lot of you guys want to be YouTubers. I get it. But look, you know, for the longest time, I needed to supplement my income with a job. And I used to do gigs and I used to do all kinds of things, okay, in order to be able to pay for my life. But now, you know, my full-time job, you know, my you know, I got little side things that I do, again, to help supplement, you know, uh, my income. But my full-time job, thank God, you know, is YouTube right now or content creating. And I make, again, my money comes from your donations or consulting fees, okay? I do one-on-one -on -one consulting. I also meet up with some of you guys. So I also do personal one-on-one -on -one consulting if you're interested in that. So that's how I supplement my income, you know, um, by consulting, by the ad revenue on the channel by you know selling a, a t-shirt if you know nobody buys a t-shirt but whatever you know things like that you know um christian is an artist you know she paints you know she 
also make some money as an artist, all right? Things like that. We're in the U.S. It's like to just be an artist alone. It's like to just do what we do. YouTuber, artist, it's not enough. I mean, are you kidding me? I got to also have a McDonald's job, you know? Bruh. Or whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever other job. But that, if, again, if you have a regular job, try creating on top of that. Again, it can still be done. I did it. I've done it. Um, plenty of people do it. But it's not easy. It's not easy doing this, you know what I mean? Let alone having 40 hours of work I got to throw on top of that. So, you know, again, that's why a lot of people move out here. A lot of people move out here because they're just artists or they're just simple people. And all they want to do is play their music, all right? They, all they want to do is create YouTube videos. All they want to do is cook. All they want to do is paint. All they want to do is whatever it is. And um, they really can't do it back home. Out here, you can do it. You still need to do a little work. You still need to make some money to pay the bills, but it's not this overbearing monstrosity of a thing that does not allow you to create or do anything else anymore. And so, again, you know, it's all about that common sense. You know, how are you going to be using your common sense or, or, or are you using it at all when you come out here? And uh, why do so many people, you know, again, struggle when they're out here? It's, again, because of lack of common sense. And, uh, you know, this is one of these things that, like, I know it's a weird topic and a weird, uh, you know, video here. But I feel like and no one talks about this for whatever reason. I think that th the majority of the people that come out here and they have a, a lot of trouble and have a major, major... Uh, you know, culture shock and they end up going back home, wherever, whatever that is, or they end up hating it here because they can't go back to where they're from is simply because of a lack of common sense. You know, again, you know, whether it's not learning the language, not assimilating to the culture, not realizing how things are just different. You're in a different country. Things are different. Things run on Mexico time. They don't run on USA time or whatever time you're from if you come out here and you embrace everything like oh my god This is gonna be an awesome adventure. Oh my god I love you know going to the local taco stand and getting tacos from the taco lady Oh my god I love going to the local fruit stand and seeing what they have available every day from their garden The you know and I can go on and on if you assimilate to the culture you go to the festivals You you're part of the the thing you're part of the community you're part of your neighborhood look the other day We had a little bit of a power out outage out here you know what i mean like you know happens all over the world nothing crazy you know we were just like an hour and a half two hours without power no big deal um it was a nice night and uh basically you know what i mean like i was about to get to work and i couldn't no, no power so you know we had to just go outside and hang out so me and christian were just hanging out just chilling on our porch in the front yard and all of a sudden the neighborhood is out and we said hey let's just sit out front the house all right so we're sitting out front out front of the house and before you know it, you know, we're communicating with our neighbors that we already knew, but we're really, really, really getting to know our neighbors, all right? In fact, we blossom in a beautiful relationship all of a sudden um, because of that. As crazy as that sounds, the neighbors that we've already known, that we already talked to, that we already everything, but because of a simple power outage, all of a sudden it's like now we're really, really close. And I can go on and on. There's just so many things like that. And you got to embrace these things, you know? Um, and, and some people just don't. Some people don't. And those are the ones that, you know, again, they, they come out here and they really, really hate it. But if you're a, a person that already on a regular basis practices common sense, practices logic, is always on top of their things and is, you know, again, very prepared for what it is to move out here because it's not easy. It's not easy to move out here, move anywhere, let alone here. Um, so if you are already in the mindset that's not going to be easy, it's going to be a very difficult but awesome adventure. Um, I need to do a bunch of things in order to make my experience better, whether it's learn Spanish, you know, learn about the culture. Um, you know, again, whatever it is, you know, there's just all these things that you need to do, all right, in order to make your experience better. And again, it's not just about the practicing of the common sense and the logic, but it's whether or not, you know, you're going to use that or on a regular basis, right? Because one thing is, you know, being able to practice this when necessary, but another thing is, is like, are you going to be using this on a regular basis in order to explain the unexplainable out here in order to understand better what's really going on in order to make your life a lot easier and so on and so forth because again i feel that the number one detractor to you know so many people coming out here is that is a simple fact that 
They just don't even know what common sense is. In fact, we're going to end this show and how we started it. Common sense ain't so common. And in, again, there's nothing really you can do about other people. All you can do is make sure that you practice common sense in your practicing logic and that you all right, have the best you know, possible experience out here. Um, because again, it's all really up to you whether you have a great experience or not. All right. So anyways, all right, guys, I know today was a mouthful of a video as always. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's show um, talking about this topic, at least bringing it to light. And uh, again, you already know what what I love. I love for you guys to let me know what you guys think in the comments section. You know, what do you guys think about this? You know, what do you think about this uh, You know, topic? What do you think about this issue? What do you think? You know, what's your what are your two cents on this uh, common sense topic? So, all right, guys, you already know what's up. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit the bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.